Hey guys, we're going to do a 9x Tenergy mode conversion. Um, we've got a mode 2 unit here, still in the box, and we're going to convert it over to mode 1. Alright, carefully remove it from the box. Flip it over, take the battery cover off. Okay, and what we need to do is remove the battery cover, remove the battery tray carefully without ripping the plug out. Carefully remove the plug. very fiddly those plugs okay and then you've got six screws here two four six undo those right so we'll carefully lift it up and there's a little set of cables under here you see under there see this one here so we carefully remove that cable and carefully remove the case Right, now, to do the conversion, what we've got to do here is like mode 2, we've got the th throttle on the left, there's no spring, you basically leave it where you leave it, and your rudder there, and then you've all this, the right hand stick is self-centering in all directions, so what you've got to do, is if you can see this spring here, this one, and the arm that it's on, this one here, that's got to be removed. Okay, so what you do is I lift it up like so by pushing your thumb under it like that. Get a hold of the actual arm. Hold it properly. Okay, lift it up a bit and then pull the spring off. There we go. Take the arm off here, down here. Come on, just come off this pin here. Take that, take it off that pin. And you're going to have to move it around this little assembly to wiggle that to get it off. And that's going to go back on here. Same again. You're going to have to move this assembly to line it up to get it in. And that sits in like so. Okay, so now we're just going to get the spring off. Carefully remove the spring from the little there's a little little black uh, plastic little lug there. Spin the unit round, and there's a little lug. You probably can't see it, but there's a little lug down there that I'm going to hook the spring onto, like so. Pull it up, and I like to just hold it with my hands and stick the spring over the top and that's just your thing so then you've got to take this little assembly here off which gives you the ratcheting effect for your throttle so you undo that Carefully, you don't want to snap anything so don't go crazy. Okay, so undo that. Undo this one here. And spin it round. And start this thread here. Start this thread here. Screw this up. With your anchor point here. And then screw this one down until you've got the tension you want on the throttle, which is actually quite nice just there, or a little bit less maybe. A couple of turns. Yeah, no, that's, that's good. Right, and put it back together again.
stick your uh, plug on carefully hold it over here and when you stick it in this little aerial here you need to make sure that slots underneath this um, spring loaded contact for the board here because you can actually see so I usually flick that under first so it's not going to get bound up on anything line up my plug stick it in give it a bit of bit of effort to get it in there it's a nice little snug fit check all your other plugs are all in properly and then line your battery up your case up nicely check it before you start yep and then do it up a little bit nope you don't have to do it tight because it's um, got six screws holding it together and it's not like you're towing a truck or anything with it so you just want to get it so it nips up Careful not to put any tension on the um, aerial because you don't want to damage that. Like, you know, if you push it down like that, so you want to make sure you hold it with your finger or something to stop it from actually flopping over and damaging that. Okay, now we're going to put our battery pod together and change the mode. Right, so we've got eight batteries here. And I'll stick them in and come back to you in a minute. Battery pack's loaded, just carefully insert the plug, make sure you get it the right way up. If you flip it over and put it in, you're going to burn this thing to a crisp. So the little tags here, there's one, two, two little tags, they always go to the top and always make sure that that's correct. Because if you put it the other way, it'll burn up your TX and you'll end up having to replace all your voltage regulators and everything. So we'll just sit that in there, we won't bother putting it back on just now. And we'll flip it over. Turn it on. Okay, if you if you t before we do that, if you've got one of the knobs up and you turn it on, it'll come up with a switch error. As soon as you flick it off, it comes up. Good. Okay, so we want to change it. Says it's um, mode one. Actually, that means model one, so it's nothing to do with which mode the Tanigi is set at. Okay, so what we need to do. Is click on the um, menu and go into system and go to mode uh, sorry uh, stick set like so stick set and see how it's mode 2 you click up to mode 1 okay it'll say throttle reverse just no just exit that exit it and see it still says mode 1, but that's actually the actual model 1, that's what's selected at the moment. So we'll just go in and double check that that's taken. And go down to stick set. Mode 2. Oh, sorry, we want it on mode 1. That's right, because we just converted it over. Sorry about that, guys. So click it in. Stick set. Mode 1. Don't worry about the throttle reverse. That's it. Turn it off. And that's it, we're done, it's got to pull the batteries out, um, if, it's, if you've already got your batteries in, you might as well go and set it up, put your, put your case on and away you go. Thanks for watching.